Hello, let's look at the numbers today. What are numbers? How they are classified? How do we understand them better? So let's look at the entire number system per se. The whole number system can be divided into two parts, real and imaginary numbers. What are real numbers? What are imaginary numbers? Any number which we use on a day-to-day -day use or for mathematical purposes generally is a real number. But there is a set of imaginary numbers also. What are imaginary numbers? Suppose if I have to say root of minus 1 or root of any negative number. Now that is not possible. So that becomes an imaginary number and all other numbers which are possible or can be marked on the number line is a real number. Let's look at further breaking down of real numbers. There is something called a rational number and irrational number. So rational numbers are numbers which we can uh, write down in the format of p upon q. So if I say p upon q, 1 by 2 is a rational number, 1 by 1 is a rational number. But if I say pi, now pi if we write down it's 22 by 7, but that is an approximate value. So that is not a rational number and is an irrational number. How do we understand it better? So rational numbers are numbers uh, which are in the form of p by q. Irrational numbers are typically numbers which are non-ending and at the same time non-recurring. Say if I say uh, 10 upon 3, so 10 upon 3 is 3.3333333. So the 3 is recurring. So it is a recurring number. But suppose there is a number which is, uh, which is like root 2. Now root 2 is an irrational number because it does not end and it does not recur at the same time. So all roots of imperfect squares or cubes or whatever is typically a irrational number whereas all other numbers which can be written in the form of p by q are rational numbers. Let's break down rational numbers now. Integers. What are integers? So any number which is a whole number or rather a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 including 0 and the negatives. So there is a minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. These are all integers. If we break down integers now, okay, uh, if we remove the negative numbers starting from minus 1, minus 2, if we start now from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on, these are all whole numbers. Let's further break down whole numbers. So if we remove the 0 from the whole number, it becomes natural numbers. Why is it called natural numbers? Because we naturally use it in counting. 1, 2, 3, 4 is how we count. We don't say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here is natural numbers which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's break down natural numbers. Now, natural numbers can be broken primarily into four parts. One is even number, which is 2, 4, 6, 8. Any number which is a multiple of 2 is an even number. Odd numbers. So all numbers which are typically not even numbers, like 3, 5, 7, 9, are odd numbers. What are prime numbers? Now, all numbers which uh, can be divided by only 1 and itself is a prime number. So there has to be only two or rather exactly two factors of a number. Two is a prime number. One is not a prime number because it has only one factor. Three is a prime number. Five is a prime number. So there are so many prime numbers which are there in the system. Let's go ahead and make it to the different value system of a number. Now there is something called a place value and a face value. Let's take a number for example 98765 or 98765. So 98000. So 9 is at the 10,000th place which is nothing but 10 to the power 4. 8 is the 1000th place which is 10 to the power 3. 7 is at the 100th place which is at 10 to the power 2. 6 is at the 10th place which is 10 to the power 1. And 5 is at the units place which is 10 to the power 0. So the place value of 7 here is 10 to the power 2 and place value of 6 here is 10 to the power 1. So that is how you get the place value of a number. Now let's look at the face value. What is the number or what is the face value of the number at the hundreds place which is 7? What is the face value of a number which has the thousand place which is 8 and so on. So this is how we go the place value and the face value. Let's look at an equation. How do we write an equation format in the same number 98765? 9 into 10 to the power 4 plus 8 into 10 to the power 3 plus 7 into 10 to the power 2 plus 6 into 10 to the power 1 and plus 5. So this is how we write 98765. Let's take another number with its variables only. A, B, C, D, E is a 5 digit number. How do we write it? It is 10,000 A plus 1000 B plus 
100 C plus 10 D plus E. So that is how we write A, B, C, D, E in the mathematical format. Now let's look at a new concept or rather a concept which has been done in terms of calculation. How do we solve an equation? It is called the pod mass. Pod mass by the name looks very close to badmash, but that's not what it is. Bod mass is bracket of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Now this is not just a name, it is the order. Bracket is supposed to be solved first, off is supposed to be solved next, then it comes division and then multiplication, addition and subtraction in that order. Let's take an equation to solve it. The equation is 12 into 8 plus 3 of 4 minus 9 into 7 plus 6 divided by 4. Now it looks simple. Let's complicate it. Let's have the brackets in place. Now if you look at the equation, there are three types of brackets. There's a square bracket, there's a curved bracket and there's a simple bracket. Now here, the biggest bracket which is the square bracket has to be solved last, then the curved bracket and then the simple bracket. Let's look at how do we solve both these equations separately. The first equation, 12 into 8. Now, if you look in the first case, multiplication is the highest. So 12 and 8 got solved first. So 96. Then 3 of 4. Off is nothing but multiply. But when we want to multiply before dividing, off is used. So 3 of 4 is 12 minus 9 cross 7. 9 cross 7 is 63. And then comes division 6 by 4. 6 by 4 is nothing but 1.5. So if we solve it now, because it is simple addition and subtraction, we get 46.5. Now let's look at the other equation. What do we need to solve first? We need to solve the smallest bracket. So 8 plus 3 gets solved first. Then we look at the next smaller bracket, which is 9 into 7 plus 6. So 9 into 7. So multiplication comes first. So 9 into 7 is 63 plus 6 becomes 69. Going ahead, then we solve the second bracket, which is 11 of 4. So 11 cross 4 is nothing but 44. So we get 12 into 44 minus 69, whole thing divided by 4, because whole thing is outside the bigger bracket. So solving this, we get 114.75. So same set of numbers, just by putting brackets, we can see the number of answer changes from 46.5 to 114.75. This is how we solve board mass equations. And that is the right way of going ahead in solving bigger problems like these.